for once we get the final results of these following heats. Well, that's the official result for heat number six being displayed on the scoreboard here in the venue. We now move on to heat number seven. So where we go in heat number seven and a, a forest of international stars. We've got our own very good international star going here, Eleanor Simmons. A very familiar name, face, world record breaker to boot. Absolutely. Ellie Simmons in lane number nine. Well, watch out for her. She's now outside lane. Of course, these are time seeded, but you would expect Ellie if she's close to her own European record time. That time, a 114.82. If she's close to that, she could be the top points earner. We'll watch out for that. Of course, Ellie, a tremendously successful at the last two Paralympic Games, double gold medalist at each in Beijing and London. She continued that with a sparkling performance in the World Championships last year in Montreal. We'll watch out for Ellie. At the moment, it looks like it is lane number seven, Sarah Maluli. Going well here, the S10 swimmer. All to play for in the center of the pool, but Maluli's going to get it. 111.86 there for Zara Maluli. Watch out for Ellie Simmons. That's an excellent swim from Ellie. 116.86. Couple of seconds outside our best time, but by far the top points earner at the moment. And that will safely see her inside the European qualification standard. So well done, Ellie. That's job done for this morning. She'll be very pleased with that. I can see her smiling from here. Yeah, there's a few who have uh, got up with the bit between their teeth this morning and, uh, and gone for it. So, uh, good start to first day's British Para Swimming International meet. Don't forget, keep your tweets coming. Morgan Peters sends us one in. It's uh, him, <laughs> Jack Thomas. A smile would be nice with these uh, selfies, but... Uh, Nonetheless, a selfie's a selfie. Uh, keep them coming. Hashtag B P S I M 14. Good effort. But B P S I M 14. We'll read the best ones out throughout the course of the morning. The official results for seven on the board. We now move on to heat number eight. Well, again, we move on to heat eight, another star studded field here. The heat beginning to get a little bit faster now. We see Lizzie Simpkin, Paralympian from Beijing in lane zero. Romy Pantsers, one of the top Netherlands swimmers in one. Susie Rogers, the British record holder for the S7 class in lane two. Daniel Hartin in three, Sophie West in four. Courtney Jordan, the world champion from the USA in five. Steer Veerman in six, Larissa Yarova in eight, and Megan Richter in lane number nine. Well, Susanna Rogers was here last week. She was very close to her British record time there, Alan. Can she get inside that time? The time standing for Susie Rogers, 112.10. She was only a couple of tenths outside that last week. She was in very good spirits. Uh, spoke with her and her mum last week. They were uh, very confident and uh, smiling and happy about it all. So uh, going well here in lane six. This is uh, Stina Verman. The S13 swimmer is going to touch 111.29. So uh, the swimmer from the Netherlands coming in for. 563 points for Courtney Jordan, world champion 757, but can't get to grips with the points that Susie Rogers 
has clocked up here. 8.26 with a 112.50. So uh, the Paralympic bronze and world silver medalist comes in 112.50, which I think is uh, four tenths of a second outside of a British record. So uh, another good morning swim here at Tollcross. Impressed yeah. with the calibre of swim so far, Paul? That's an excellent swim from Susie Rogers. She'll be very pleased with that. And that another one, like Ellie Simmons, inside the qualifying standard for the European champs. So, well done, Susie Rogers. She'll be very pleased with that one. More to come this evening. Maybe another British record. First results of eight. We now move on to nine. We talked earlier in the introduction about swimmers trying to make those qualification standards for the Commonwealth Games back here right in this pool in July. And one of those swimmers who has managed to make that standard for the English team was Stephanie Slater. She swam that last week. Of course, the English trials were last week. But we are going to look at the Scots and the Welsh and the Northern Irish here to see if they can make times here at these championships. But Stephanie Slater, well, she went really well last week. 107.20, and that was just less than a second outside the British record held by Heather Fredrickson. Stephanie Slater going in lane nine in the outside lane. Her qualification standard for the European Championships is 111.21, so she should be comfortably inside that. At the moment, though, it is lane five, Hernanda Santos from Spain. A raft of S10 swimmers in the centre lanes here. Hernanda Santos comes in 106.33. That's a good points total. But Stephanie Slater, she is going to be top in terms of points, I think. 109.04 for Stephanie Slater. And that will be good enough for her to be inside that European Championships qualifying standard. So an excellent swim there from Stephanie Slater. 109.04, 859 points. And that should be enough to qualify her for one of the finals this evening. As the results confirmed on the scoreboard, Stephanie Slater with the top points total, Hernanda Santos and Gemma Armand at the top three. Heat number 10. So away we go with heat number 10. Elizabeth Smith, Tully Kearney, Murray Oosterhaus, Stephanie Millwood, Marlo van der Kulp, Everett Font, Alice Rose Tai, Eleni Papadopoulos, Chantal Zwiedler, and Maria, Maria Delgado Nadal. That's the full lineup. Swimmers here from the United States, the Netherlands, Spain. So, uh, That's a great start. Marlon van der Kolk, 29.21. She is the world record holder. 59.04 for Marlon van der Kolk. Can she challenge that? Stephanie Millward, the world champion from Great Britain, next to her in lane three. And the experienced Deborah Font in lane five. Watch out for Alice Ty in six also. But look at this. Marlon van der Kolk really going away here. Is she going to be under the one minute mark? It's going to be close. 101.89, just over that. But 947 points. Wow, that is a good performance from Marlou van der Kolk. And she's followed home by Stephanie Millward and Deborah Font on either side of them. Alice Ty coming in at 105.41 in third position, actually, ahead of Stephanie Millward. And the two GB swimmers had to follow the Netherlands swimmer there. But 101.89 for Marlou van der Kolk, one of the top stars, the top world stars here from the Netherlands, right here in the pool in Tollcross.
Well, Hannah Russell in lane four will be the favourite for this one. We have Gomez Batelli, Colleen Young, Chantel Molenkamp, Bianca Papp, Hannah Russell, Naomi Mikey Schnitger, Sarah Gascon, Jessica Long, Katie Nesbitt and Noraya Marquez Soto. Hannah Russell, well, what form has she been in over the years? The British record holder, that time of 100.88. Another one will be trying to achieve the qualification standards for the European Championships. A tough one, though. It's going to have to break the British record to do it. One minute point six zero for the A standard for Hannah Russell. And she is leading Naomi Micah Schnitger, a great rival from Germany. Those two in the same classification in the S12 class. But Hannah Russell looking good here. Are they coming into the last couple of metres? There will be Russell here in four. 101. 2 0, 869 points clocked up there. Uh, some good scores all around her actually. Uh, 834, 926 uh, for Jessica Long, the uh, SN category swimmer there in lane number seven. And she does indeed top the pile here for heat 11. The official results being displayed on the scoreboard, certainly here in the venue for now. But uh, S Long, that's why she's a champion. Absolutely. Appeared on the, the scene as a 12-year-old back in Athens in 2004, winning three gold medals, and she's continued to be the world's best ever since. Ten years at the top for Jessica Long. It's not easy to kind of lose the, the swimmers in the kind of S8 and S7 classes because they tend to be behind the, the swimmers at the head of the field. But you see from the points total, 926 points. That is a quality swim from Jessica Long in the S8 class. 8-12. 12th and the fastest heat to go. We have... Janice Salzberg in zero, Claire Cashmore in one, Elena Krasov in two, Amy Marin in three, Jessica Jane Applegate in four, Summer Mortimer in five, Magda Tuters in six, Irie Ike in seven, Rosie Bancroft in eight, and Manon Vermarian goes in lane nine. Well, Jessica Jane Applegate, uh, what a quality swimmer she was, Paralympic champion in 200 metres freestyle from London 2012. Also Paralympic champion next to her, Summer Mortimer, representing the Netherlands now after swimming for Canada in those London games. But Jessica Jane Applegate in lane number four. She is looking good at the moment. Let's have a look at the time. Her British record standing at 1 minute point seven eight, And this is a good time. 1 minute point nine three for Jessica Jane Applegate. Well, that was close. And Amy Marin following her home. Summer Mortimer in second. Amy Marin in third in a 104.19. And that will be good enough for Amy Marin to achieve that European qualification standard. Well done, Amy Marin in the S9 class. But the points totals appearing on the scoreboard, and Jessica Jane Applegate just 0.15 of a second outside her own British record time, 993 points. Jessica Jane Applegate, she will top the qualifiers for the final. She is followed by Summer Mortimer and Amy Marin. That were the top three in that final heat of the women's 100 metres freestyle. Official result being displayed. Have a disqualification in that last race. We now move on to our next event of this morning's session. This is the men's 100 metres freestyle. First up, heat number one.
So as the race gets underway, somebody in our rooms just asked us if anybody's got an Easter egg. What a random question that is, Paul, for a Friday morning. Uh, away we go in heat one. No, is the answer. If somebody wants to buy us an Easter egg, that'd be great. Away they go in heat one then. And uh, categories from S1 up to S13 here. Swimmers from Azerbaijan. To Israel... South Africa, Malaysia, United States it is an international meet after all. Yes, indeed, yeah. You couldn't get much of a, more of a spread in terms of classifications. S1 right through to the S13. And in the outside lane is going well, Stephen Clegg. And he's gone really well. 104 for Stephen Clegg, those size 13 feet coming into good uh, use there. For Stephen Clegg, he's got in there. Dimitri Salai, though, 54.46. Well, that was a time, wasn't it? I absolutely knew you were going to use that piece of information we found out yesterday about the size of his feet. How did I know that? Uh, keep these tweets coming. Good finish from Dimitri Salai. Yes, they swim a 54.46. Uh, 824 points. Uh, well, we, now, didn't, the... we didn't see that one coming, really, did we? They, these swimmers in the early heats, they are in the outside lanes because they didn't put an entry time in here. So they've all appeared in that first heat, but 54.46. And Dimitri Saleh, well, he is one of the world's best. He is the champion in breaststroke. Now representing Azerbaijan. And, um, as we move our attention back to the centre of the pool... So swimmers there in the lower classifications in that centre coming to the final stages. In heat 12 of event 101, lane 8 was disqualified at the start of the race. Good battle here in the centre here. It is Quinton Harris. He's going in lane 5. Istak Luis Valov and Curtis Lovejoy. The S4 swimmer is going to get this one, I think, 234.55. Well, I thought he was going to get it, but he only just got it by three one hundredths of a second. And Mami Svalov, a Paralympic champion in the S1 class, 234.58 in second. And Curtis Lovejoy, who was the previous world record holder, he set a world record back in the Sydney Paralympics back in 2000. Been around for a while, Curtis Lovejoy, in the S2 class. He comes behind the two in the centre lane. But look at the points totals we have here on the scoreboard here at the venue. It's uh, Soleil with 8-2-4. We do keep saying send us your, uh, your tweets and your selfies. And, and a first, I was here all last week and it didn't happen. And a first this week, an upside down selfie. I'm not sure how they've managed this. Christopher Anderson posing with uh, Emma Hollis. And uh, somehow their picture is upside down as we've received it. So well done. Uh, John Bailey has tweeted in. He wants an Easter egg. So do we, John. But there you go. Keep those tweets coming. Uh, and if you want all the information on this week's activities, uh, Chris from British Swimming will be sending all the tweets, and he does a grand job. Sat by the side of the pool day in, day out. He'll send you all the information you need. So follow, follow British Swimming on Twitter. All the information is there. Or you can get yourself online as well. The British Swimming website. Hashtag BPSIM14. Uh, that was Heat 1. You know what follows Heat 1, don't you, Paul? Heat 2. And there it is. Heat number two sees, again, a range of classifications here. Lyndon Longhorn, Matthew Close, Finley Middleton, Michael Schoenmacher, William holland Levens, Riley Shanahan, Connor Freeman, Adam Donaghy, Matthew Harding, Miguel Martinez, Tawelo. Spanish swimmer in the S3 class in the outside lane in lane number nine. Michael Schoenmacher in the S4 class. 
in lane number three for the Netherlands. Lyndon Longhorn, British record holder in individual medley and breaststroke. He goes in lane zero. Centre of the pool, though, Connor Freeman looks like he is the first away. The S14 swimmer, S14, with is the classification for swimmers with a learning disability. So Connor Freeman is leading the field at the moment. Connor Freeman, just the youngster, the youngest in this field. Well, in fact, he's not the youngest. He's 13 years of age. Finlay Middleton's only 12 in lane number two. But it is lane number six. Connor Freeman is going to lead them home, although he is pressed in the closing stages there by Adam Donachy. He is a local man from not too far away. Adam Donachy, a Scot. He's in second position. Connor Freeman does take it, though, by about a second from Adam Donachy. So he, uh, Michael Schoenmaker, the uh, 703 points, the experienced S4 swimmer, coming home here in nine, Martinez Tajulo. The S3 swimmer takes the touch, and he gets a good points total for it as well, at 580 from Tajulo, and that puts him second here in heat number two. Uh, that's the key with the, the multi-class race. You've got to watch it right to the end, though, Paul, haven't you? With the, uh, certainly in the heats. As you know there, last to finish, but second on the board. You have, yeah. There's two swimmers in the lower classification numbers there. Schirmacher, Paralympic champion in breaststroke in London. And Martinez Tuelo. Well, five silver medals from Montreal World Championships last year. Didn't quite manage to convert it to that gold. In, in a way, a wonderful achievement. On the other hand, just gutting. You can't quite get to that next stage, but still a wonderful achievement that uh, only a very small percentage of people around the world will uh, get their hands on a, a Paralympic medal. So uh, great achievement to get those five, but I'm sure he's probably gone away. And the game plan now is to step that up. How do I get that next level? Uh, you know that feeling as an athlete, Paul. You, uh, you're always striving for the gold. That's the official results for Heat 2 summarised then. We will move on now to Heat number 3. Heat three sees James Scully, the Irish swimmer in lane zero, Aaron Maddox in one, Craig Smith in two, Andrew Mullen in three, Lachlan Macbeth in four, Thomas Ari in five, Patrick Flanagan in six, Callum Hodgson in seven, Rufus McCree in eight, and Liam Walsh in lane number nine. Well, Andrew Mullen will be looking to try and achieve that standard, qualification standard for the GB team. For the European Championships, he will have his eyes set on 118.00. And that's going to be a, a tough ask for Andrew Mullen, but he may well get there. We'll watch out for his progress. Featured in the programme here for this event. And again, one of the local swimmers there, Andrew Mullen. He swims in the S5 class. One of the many British swimming talented uh, Athletes having his picture taken in a professional suit yesterday, and they were all laughing and giggling their way through that. People like Ollie Hind and Amy Marin, Steph Slater, Andrew Muller was part of that. And, uh, here, 5.74 is what Mullen has come up with. 4.91 for James Scully in the uh, outside zero lane. Coming through here in five is uh, Uri. We'll uh, wait for the official results on that one. Keep your tweets coming. Hashtag BPSIM40. I'm still waiting for someone at home to send us one through the live stream. If you're listening to myself and Paul Noble, get a tweet in. Hashtag BPSIM14. Send us a picture of where you're watching this world-class event. The official results you can see being displayed on the screen. 
uh, here in the venue. Don't forget, you can uh, use the giant video board to take a look at replays and also the uh, results on there, as well as our scoreboard. Uh, eight, three swimmers just making their way out. And a good start so far, Paul. Yeah, as indeed we saw, I made it three of the GB swimmers make those European qualification standards. So it's a good start for the morning swims. Hopefully we'll rack up a few more as we go through these championships. And we move on now to the next heat, which is heat number four. Heat number four sees Daniel Bennett in zero, Matthew Phillips in one, Matthew Rishworth in two, Alexander Goodman in three, Hannah Schurman in four, Dominic Ranaraja in five, Martin Trundle six, Neil Howie in seven, Lewis Edwards in eight, and Peter Davis in lane number nine. Last year's event when back in the day when this was called Bids, not Bipsim, uh, back in those days, uh, it was won by... Uh, one by Joseph Craig. How common to position, Paul, is uh, we're on pool deck for those at home and uh, for those perhaps in the crowd who are trying to figure out where me and Paul are. And uh, we get the joy of the athletes walking by our window, getting ready for, for the event. And Sash Kindred has just walked by, waved, put us both off. Uh, and that uh, shows us that he's quite relaxed, ready for his race in a couple of minutes' time. So thank you very much to uh, the uh, very prolific medal taker, Sasha Kindred, uh, as they come in here. A uh, good swim from Lewis Edwards, 108.04, gets uh, a 5.72. Uh, to the times smattering onto the scoreboard here inside the venue here at Toll Cross in Glasgow. But it is Lewis Edwards, 108.04, takes a 572 points total for that. Hannes Schurman, Alexander Goodman, Peter Davis, Daniel Bennett following up. So uh, at home, you'll be receiving those scores now. Good little swim from Lewis there. It was. Uh, swimmers at the head of the field all spread across the pool here. So as we can see, the good time there, 108.04 from Lewis Edwards. And he'll be pleased with that as they uh, move on through the heats. Heat number four, that was. Heat number five will next, the time's just continuing to get faster and faster as we go through these. We've managed to get our first selfie from home watching these championships. Uh, John Bailey, thank you very much to you watching it from your bed with a, a GB pillow. That's very patriotic. Let's move on to heat number five. Oliver Shergold goes in zero in this heat number five. Roy Perkins in one. Cameron Cox in two. Arthur Morley in three. Tom Piggott in four. Blaze Kenny in five. Oliver Carter in six. Oliver Fellows in seven. Malta Braunschweig in eight. And Sebastian Rodriguez in nine. Well, two of the top performers here in this one could be the S5 swimmers. Both Paralympic medalists, Roy Perkins in lane one and Sebastian Rodriguez in lane nine. Sebastian Rodriguez, multi-Paralympic gold medalist and he is the uh, European record holder, formerly the European record holder in this one. He is certainly in the 50 freestyle still. The S5 swimmer will watch out for his points total. 
But in the centre of the pool, in lane number six, Oliver Carter. He's coming through strongly there. Five performance swimmer. He goes through in six and he touches 108.13. A good swim there from Oliver Carter. Cameron Cox follows him home in 109.36. And Oliver Fellows next to the wall in 110.97. We'll have a look for the points totals. Could well be Perkins and Rodriguez, as we thought. The two S5 swimmers at the top of the tree. Rodriguez, 682 points. He will be the fastest through in points total. Just about half a second ahead of his S5 rival, Roy Perkins, from the USA. Those results are confirmed on your screen and on the scoreboard. Oliver Fellows has the next highest points total, 504 points. Rodriguez, very experienced man, back from Sydney in 2000, was his first Paralympic Games. Roy Perkins has also competed in a couple of Paralympics and he's had great success in recent years. A fantastic win in the 50 Butterfly last year at the World Championships against the favourite and world record holder Daniel Diaz. The swimmers clear the water. We can now move on to the next heat, which will be heat number six. Move on to the next seat, Y Song To in lane zero, Lawrence McGivern in lane number one, Sasha Kindred. We saw him going past, as Alan said earlier, in lane number two, Matthew Trundle in three, Nathan Green in four, Grant Taylor in five, Sam Bradley in six, Joshua Monaghan Coombs in seven, Jack Sheffield in lane eight, and Jack Baker in lane nine. That's the lineup for heat number six. Well, what can Sasha Kindred do? He's been on the GB team now for, let me see, 20 years, Sasha Kindred. Yeah, 1994 was his international debut. There's not many that's been around that long. Sasha Kindred still on great form, the world champion from last year in Montreal. So certainly still one to beat. He is being headed by Nathan Green, the S9 swimmer in lane, in lane number four and Lawrence McGivern that's a good time for the Irish swimmer in lane one 104.97 let's have a look see what Sasha Kindred can do he is the British record holder at 110.97 he's very close to that just over a second outside in 112.08 Sasha Kindred will take that one and 112.08 will be the highest points earner 749 points for Sasha Kindred Grant Taylor in second, and that fast swim from Lawrence McGivern will get him third position in terms of points, just ahead of Sam Bradley. So Sasha Kindred, still the man to beat. The veteran now, the grandfather of the GB team at the moment. He won't mind me saying that. Well, he might, but sure forgive me. But a great swim, 112.08. And said just over a second outside his own British record just over a second outside that qualification standard for the GB team that was heat number six so we can now move on to the next heat which is heat number seven
Jonathan McGrath goes in zero. Jin Hai Leo goes in one. Neil Spender in two. Craig McNeil in three. Lewis White in four. Benjamin Fulston five. Michael Jones in lane six. Jamie Warriner in seven. Gareth Orr in eight. And Jackson Simmons in lane number nine. Pretty even at the front here. Maybe the centre lane, Lewis White, the S9 swimmer. Edging it. In fact, no, it is probably lane number seven. Jamie Warner going well, the S10 swimmer. Jamie Warner coming in now. Let's have a look here. 103.52 for Jamie Warner, 514 points. But Lewis White just behind him, 104.40. He will get the highest points total, 633 points. Very close in terms of time. In fact, Michael Jones it is, 107.25 for Michael Jones. That is the top points earner, the S7 swimmer. Remember, the lower the classification, the more severe the disability. So Michael Jones with the lowest class here, the S7 class. He will be the highest points earner, 107.25 his time. 722 points is points total. Remember, 1,000 points equivalent to the world record as it stood last year. We move through the heats. They will get faster. We will see some times that may be challenging those 900-point mark. Maybe a couple over the 1,000-point mark. We shall wait and see. We now move on to heat number eight. It is 11 heats. This is heat number eight. I'll hand you over to your referee. Way they go here in heat number eight. Hope you haven't missed me over the last few heats. I'm here. Uh, but uh, Jonathan Fox, Matthew Walker side by side here, Paul. And that was the uh, your first observation on this one. It should be a, an interesting little swim between those two. Matt Walker, the 50 specialist. Jonathan Fox, better known for distance freestyle of 400s. But they come together at the 100. And it's Foxy. With uh, the lead there, 30.23 over his great rival, Matthew Walker, 31.06. They're all headed by the, the outside lane, Ivan Salguero Etesa, the S13 swimmer, 29.48. What have you said since I've been gone? Nairi Kinder has sent us a tweet that says, Paul Noble, the granddad, tut tut. What have you been doing? I've only left you for two minutes. Yeah, sorry, that was a reference to her husband. <laughs> Does that make her the grandmother? Sorry, Nairi. Oh, Nairi. I'll, I'll unplug his mic later, Nairi, don't worry about that. So as they come in, 846 from John Fox. And uh, as Paul said, quite eagerly at the beginning, it would be an interesting battle between those two in this heat. And it certainly was. 846 from Fox, Walker's 809, 702. Miklan Zadkis. Nice to be tested on the first morning. Bastian Fontaine. Then following in with 663. So you can see the uh, official results now being displayed in front of you. Keep your tweets coming. That's what we want. Ones from home. If you're watching on the live stream, any of you guys out there, the athletes who are sat watching, uh, or perhaps the uh, spectators who are above us, you can't see us if you're in the venue because we're in a glass box on the pool deck underneath the spectator stand. So anybody looking for the, uh, the world-famous Paul Noble won't find him uh, this morning. We're being hidden away. Got air conditioning though, so that's nice. Yeah, I'm not not good at being front of house, Alan. I'm I'm better at being hidden away there. We were on camera earlier. You love a bit of it. Heat eight is all over. Let's move on for heat number nine.
Heat number nine sees Joseph Craig in zero. Craig Harris in one. Matthew Wiley in two. Jose Maria Alcaraz in three. Omar Font in four. Rob Wellborn in five. Thomas Tote in six. Miguel Sanchez Mateo in seven. Adam Melville in eight. William Jones in nine. This one could be fast. We have Jose Maria Alcaraz, the European record holder in the S9 class. Spanish swimmer in lane number three. Omar Font, world championship medalist next to him in lane four. Rob Wellborn, the British record holder in lane number five. Rob Wellborn, better known for the distance events. He's going to be headed by Omar Font, 56.31 for Font. Rob Wellborn finishing second, 56.86. And Jose Maria Alcaraz, the big three there, 57.97. And Matthew Wiley, who had a good week last week with those qualification times for the Commonwealth Games, Almost in his reach there, Matthew Wiley. British record last week, wasn't it, Alan? I'm sure it was two and a day for Matthew Wiley. And I think he just missed out on the qualification standard, I think, for that Commonwealth Games place for the England team. But he's on good form. 59.02 for Wiley. Record certainly tumbled. I was awake that morning. I spotted that one. And uh, Wiley, with a very good couple of swims during the British Gas Swimming Championships. That were held here, straight on the back of the Scottish National Championships. This pool has seen some racing in the last two and a half weeks. And another international meet here put together. Results of heat nine. We move on to heat number ten. Robert Dalgleish, Kaichi Kimura, Ryan Nichols, James Clegg, Tucker Dupre, David Levesque, Ben Proctor, Ryan Crouch, Klaus Steinhauer and Fraser Kane. Star-studded heat 10 of the 11 heats there. James Clegg, British record holder, goes in lane number three. Tucker Dupre also goes in lane number four. James Clegg and Tucker Dupre. They are great rivals on the international stage, both the S12 swimmers. David Levesque going well. He's the former European record holder from Spain. And he's looking very good. David Levesque in lane number five here, the Spanish S10 swimmer. Ben Proctor going well in lane number six. But it is going to be David Levesque. He's going to be heading Tucker Dupre into the wall. And Tucker Dupre it is, in fact, who gets the touch, 54.91. David Levesque, that's an excellent swim for him, 55.62. And in third position, it was James Clegg, 57.05 for James Clegg. And those points, very tight at the top of the board here. In terms of points totals, it was, in fact, Ben Proctor with 58.42. He will get the top points there now, 799 points, but it was very close, 797 for Tucker Dupre. Ryan Nichols it was in third position. So the S14 swimmer, Ben Proctor, world championship medalist last year in 200 metres individual medley. He is at the top of the tree so far, 58.42 for Ben Proctor. Tucker Dupre, a very good swim there from Tucker Dupre in 54.91 and Ryan Nichols in third. David Levesque challenged Dupre at the head of the field there. 55.62. Kaichi Kimura, the S11 swimmer. Swimmer who has no vision at all. He is fifth in terms of the points totals. That was heat 10. We can now move on to heat number 11. Another good uh, heat 
line up here. Ryan West, Morgan Peters, Thomas Haber, Daniel Simon, Felipe Rodriguez, John Magier, Sverison, Satoru Miyazaki, Oscar Limesy, and Stefan Hogan go here in heat 11. Final heat of our men's 100 metre freestyle, Paul. And uh, we were talking about it yesterday. You've been looking forward to seeing Thomas Hamer here, the S14 swimmer. He's been uh, bringing some very good performances in 2014. Was indeed, yeah. He had a great performance in the 200 freestyle last week. Made that qualification standard for the English Commonwealth Games team. And also watch out for Stefan Hogan, Morgan Peters, also going in the outside lanes here to see if they can achieve their standards for the Scottish and the Welsh team. Good swim from Felipe Rodriguez. Let's watch for Peters and Hogan. Hogan's time, 101.46. Well, that's outside the qualification standard that he was looking for. And Morgan Peters, 101.46. In fact, Morgan Peters and Stefan Hogan absolutely together in terms of time. So they have tied for that position, and they are both outside the times they were looking for for those qualification standards. John Magier Sverison, the uh, Icelandic swimmer, the S14, 22-year-old. Uh, very nice, 948 being registered there. 55-2-0 for Sverison. Uh, Hamer in behind with 872. Felipe Rodriguez, 53-4-3. And... Uh, Miyazaki just in behind Rodriguez on 850. So uh, three in the 800s, Paul, one in the 900s. That's a, a pretty quick heat here in heat number 11. Do keep your tweets a coming. That's what we're after. Uh, whether you're at home or whether you're in the venue. Uh, Karis just says BPSIM14 is well and truly underway. It is. It has been for about an hour. Where have you been for the first hour? Good luck to all Adwick, Holly, Pinder on Monday. That comes in from Louise. Valerie says he's watching fantastically talented and gutsy swimmers at the British Parrot Swimming Heats here in Glasgow. They are all of those things. So don't forget the hashtag BPSIM14. So let's go over and see the wonderful Kate Gray. See if she's plucked somebody from the crowd to have a chat with. Well, while we take a bit of a break in the programme, I've been rummaging through the crowds to find some people, and I've actually come across Emma Hollis, who's a former Paralympian, a multi-medalist at European Championships. Emma, what brings you to, to Glasgow? I've come to support my brother James and, um, and the rest of all the other love for swimmers. And you've been in this position, you know, three years ago when you were trying to qualify for Europeans. We've got the call room just behind us. What sort of things are going through these athletes' minds at the moment? I'm sure the swimmers in the call room are all really prepared for what they're going to do, but you need to be sure to turn that nervous energy into positive energy, so really put it into the stroke and into the race and use that to benefit them. Because take us back, it was, uh, it was Berlin where you swam at the Europeans, and what kind of experience can they expect to take when they go to, to, go to Berlin? I had such a fantastic time in Berlin. It was really lovely just to swim there. And um, I found it really great to swim in a category as opposed to somewhere like this where you're swimming multi-classification. Uh, multi so that was really great to be swimming against my world, <laughs> worldwide opponents. Um, it, the crowd there were just fantastic. I know our British contingent really supported me all the way through. And it was just a fantastic experience. And there's, there's a really good turnout here from the crowds. I mean, the support must make a difference. Oh, definitely. Um, it's all that support behind you that really makes you celebrate the good times, but also pick you up when things go, don't go right. So it, they're really important. And they are your support team at the end of the day. You can't really do it without them. And um, the international turnout here it is really good. It must be great to kind of almost prepare for those big internationals knowing that you're competing against some of your closest rivals here. Oh, absolutely. I think this sort of experience is so valuable, especially for the younger swimmers, which may not have um, experienced an international meet like this before. So it's a small stepping stone from just a domestic meet to a larger international. So I think it's really important. And next up, we have the 100 metres breaststroke. Uh, is there anyone in particular that you're looking out for? Is the, the female race first? 
Uh, I'm always looking forward to watching The Hunch Breast. Uh, Liz Johnson and Charlotte Henshaw always give us a good race. Um, I'm always, also looking forward to watching Claire Cashmore, Harriet Lee, and Lisa Dembrava from the Netherlands. So it'll be a good race. And your brother isn't competing in the breaststroke. He's not a breaststroker, is he? No, James. Well, breaststroke isn't really his forte. Um, it could be an interesting race if he was to swim it, but I think we won't worry about that one too soon. So which one should we be looking out for for the Hollis family support? Well, we're going to be here supporting the rest of the week, but James is going to be swimming the 100 fly, so that's his main event. Well, we will look forward to that, Emma. Thank you very much for taking a break from your supporting, and um, that's about it from us. We should get back to the racing. Well, thanks, Kate. Good to hear Emma with form. Hopefully, she'll be back shortly. Emma's going to be here uh, all weekend, she was explaining. So, uh, And Mum Hollis will be here somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's obviously a great supporter. A lot of the parents are. You see a lot of the parents over various international events, and a number of them came to London, as you might expect. So it's always good to see great support from the, the GB team. They're always very loud at the international events. Always with these uh, Union Jacks. In fact, there's some on the screen now. Let's wave those flags. Yeah, if you do see yourself on the big screen, give us a wave. There you go. That's, that's you. Don't get too excited. It's only day one. Give us, a, give, us a, give us a Friday, Easter Friday wave. There's people there with flags. There you go. Wave your flag. You've not brought it just to see it with you on your knee. There you go. All these lovely people out here who've come to support here on day. What about those? Look at that. There you are. They were ready. It's as if we queued them up. Keep yourselves entertained, keep your flags waving. If you've got a banner, hold it up. That's it, wave with both hands. How excited are you? She got more than one Easter egg this morning. Still without an Easter egg, Paul. I'm not, I'm not happy. I once asked for an ice cream and I got one. And I've got expectations since then. Look at this, here we go. Giant Scottish flag. We are here, of course, at the Commonwealth Pool. Of course... This year's Commonwealth Games. We're looking forward, Paul. How, how have Scotland taken to the Commonwealth? Oh, they've done great. It's just really building up now. It's less than 100 days to go to the Commonwealth Games. So we're all looking forward to that. You can see the construction going on in various parts of Glasgow you as the, you drive through it. Hopefully that'll be finished. Calendar. Is that what you've got next to your bed? A little countdown calendar every morning? Yeah. That, uh, how did you know that, Alan? Yeah. You've seen my uh, Twitter pictures that I've been sending out? Every yeah. morning. All right, excellent, yeah. Like my countdown calendar, it's not my outfits that I do every day, a bit like uh, Victoria Beckham, but I don't know how I know that, but anyway. Keep the tweets coming. We've had uh, one from Andrew Marvin. It says, I want to mention, because John Bailey's had one. Well, jealousy is not a good trait, uh, but there's your mention either way. So uh, hashtag BPSIM14. If you want your mention and you're at home, or even if you're in the crowd here and we've just seen your beautiful face on the big screen, then give us a shout on the Twitter page, BPSIM14. And we've got plenty more action. Please welcome the swimmers for our next event. This is the women's 100 metres breaststroke heats. Heat number one. First heat of the women's multi-classification, 100 breaststroke. Jordan Marjorie back in the water again in lane zero. Suzanne Warren in one, Sally Phillips in two, Megan Short in three, Rebecca Donnelly four, Maisie Bernard Martin and Maisie Summers Newton. They are in five and six. We have Kaylee Hagel in lane eight, Jerry Ray Pierce in seven, Olivia May Cameron goes in lane number nine. So... The two Maisies in the centre, Bernard Martin and Summers Newton. 
saw a couple of good swims earlier here in the 100 freestyle. Jordan Marjorie also had a good swim. She goes in lane zero and she's going well so far as they come to the first turn, the only turn in this 100 breaststroke. Could be Jordan Marjorie again at the front of the field. It's going to be tight though as they go through. And in fact, getting the touch there, one of the Maisies, Maisie Bernard Martin. She is through. And in first position, Jordan Marjorie in second place. And the second Maisie, Maisie Summers Newton in third. More of those tweets, Fiona Morin. Good luck to everybody competing this weekend, especially Maisie Summers Newton from Wellingborough. It was good timing. Uh, a shout out to all the officials and volunteers who give their time to make up the challenge. That comes in from Robert. Uh, yeah, we do normally thank the uh, the officials and the uh, the centre staff as well. The, uh, the ladies and the gentlemen in the orange t-shirts have been excellent throughout the last few weeks where major competitions have taken place here. They've been very good. So well done to all of the event staff as well here at Tollcross. And uh, another Andrew Marvin tweeting in again here. Thanks for the mention. He can get on with his housework now, he says. So, uh, it's great to see people all over the country and all over the world watching So uh, and tweeting into us. Uh, apparently, we're being watched in Japan, the Netherlands, and Germany so far. So, uh, good morning to all of those countries. I'm not going to attempt to say that in an international language. So, uh, good morning. We'll have to do me. Uh, Marjorie, three... 3-8 in terms of points, Paul, but 3-4-8 comes in from Maisie Summers-Newton as we were just talking about a tweet for her. Yeah, good performance there again by Jordan Marjorie. We saw her in 100 freestyle just a short time ago and she's got a good swim there as well to finish at the front of the field. 207.14 for Georgian Marjorie. And the battle of the Maisies. Maisie Bernard-Martin gets in ahead of Maisie Summers-Newton. And still a good battle going on here on either side of the pool. Suzanne Warren in one. And it looks like seven and eight. Jerry Ree Pierce and Kaylee Haggle. They're fighting it out too. Kaylee Haggle, seen her swimming over the past few months. She is the Scottish record holder in this SB4 class. Local swimmer, also a very good athlete. Very good track runner. And Kaylee Haggle, she touches there. Time not registering on our scoreboard. But we'll see if we can bring you Kaylee Haggle's time as soon as we have it. Jordan Marjorie. She was first to the wall, 207.14 for the highest points total. Maisie Summers Newton, the SB6 swimmer, 348 is the highest points total we have so far. A few uh, swimmers take on other sports as well. You were on about a, a track runner there. Was he, uh... Eleni Papadopoulos, of course, uh, does triathlon as well. Were you, uh, were you a multi-sports kind of guy during your career, Paul? I couldn't run to save my life, really, Alan. So no, nothing like that. Not, not on the track. I did other sports, though. Yeah, a bit of uh, table tennis. I was quite a good uh, ping-pong player in my day. You know, I'll, I'll give you a game sometime. I, I think I could manage that now. When do you think we're going to find five minutes, Paul? Ah, no problem. We can do it while Kate and uh, Emma are having their next chat. That's true. We've, uh, we've seen the lovely Emma Hollis chatting away to Kate Gray on the big screen a moment ago. They've joined us in the uh, commentary booth. They're, uh, they don't know what they're planning on learning in here, uh, but we may just hand over to them as we hand over to uh, heat number two in a moment. Again, we'll see the range of starts there from the block, from the water. Swimmers being held by their coaches. Remember, no propulsion from the start is allowed by the coaches if they are steadied by their coaches or held in position. But 
We do have the swimmers here for heat number two. Jeannie Derrick, Samantha Lewis, Sabina Weber-Treiber, Grace Harvey, Abigail Easton, Sophie Taylor, Thelma Bjornsdottir, Zeeling Chu, Katie Rillett-Young, and Teresa Go from Singapore completes the lineup. And again, a range of classes. Teresa Go is the lowest classification in this one, in the SB4 class. Again, we uh, talked about it earlier. Lots of uh, world-class swimmers walking by our window, smiling, laughing. Henshaw and Simmons, to name a few, just a moment ago, as have gone by, getting ready for their races to come up. Here, at the turn, Miguel Easton, 56-4-3 second. Sabina weber Treba, 56-6-5 in second. And then uh, Thelmy Bjorns Dottier, 57-8-3. So... Uh, S8 swimmer leading to S5 swimmers pretty close together in second and third in time. And we'll, uh, of course, wait to see what points that gives them as they come towards the 15-metre mark of the blue cap here in lane four. Belongs to Abigail Easton. Yeah, coming into the last 10 now, it is... Centre lane, lane number four, Abigail Easton. She's going very well here, Abigail Easton from Brownstone. SB8 swimmer. Of course, the SB prefix on these events signifies it's a breaststroke event. We have S for swimming, SB for breaststroke, and SM for medley. So if you are wondering about them, that is what they mean. And this is an SB event, the SB meaning breaststroke. Abigail Easton was first to the wall, the highest points total so far. Looks like Thelma Bjorn's daughter in lane number six, the Icelandic swimmer, in there in 203.17. In heat one of event 103, there was a disqualification in lane eight for the start of stroke. That's heat one of event 103. Lane eight was disqualified, start of stroke. Uh, Emily Atkinson tweeting in. Well done, my sister Megan in her 100 free. Keep the tweets coming. Good luck to Jack. Team Salford. Jack Sheffield, that is. And Naomi Kindred. Let's go. SB6 girls in the 100 breaststroke. We move on to our next heat. Julia Castello Farry in zero. Zara Maluli back in the water again in one. Coral Farrell in two. Adele Maguire in three. Megan Richter in four. No swimmer in five. Amy McFarlane in six. Hayley Milne in seven. Emma Warrington in eight. And Lucy Chenery in lane number nine. Away they go. That. They head down towards the one and only turn, of course, in this 100 breaststroke. Heat number three. We've eight heats of these women's 100 metre breaststroke. S4 to S9 and S11 to S14. Is that the categories. Going well here. Amy McFarlane, the S14 swimmer in lane six, leads on time 50.23. Far behind is Coral Farrell, the SB9 category swimmer in second place, 59-1. And third, Zara Maluli, also an S9 swimmer. Good swim there by the, the yellow caps there. Uh, Hayley Milne 
going very well there. And in fact, could be Zara Maluli or Coral Farrell it is actually with that yellow cap of Warrington leading her teammate Adele Maguire. Can Coral Farrell hang on to this one in the closing stages? Amy McFarlane, another one of these local swimmers. And it could be Amy, is it? Oh, very close there. It is Coral Farrell. She will take it by about half a second from Amy McFarlane. A good close contest there. But it is Coral Farrell, a youngster, 13 years of age, takes the touch on that one. That will earn her 357 points. The highest points earner is the Spanish swimmer, Julio Castello Fari. We shall wait for confirmation of that result. The uh, swimmers from heat three coming out. David Malone says, uh, best of luck, Team Ireland in the championships. Keep up the great commentary as always, Paul. Yeah, Dave Malone, a regular visitor to here. Probably buy you an Easter egg as well. Uh, no, that'll be the day. We move on to heat number four. This could be a big one, this one. Fionn Butler in zero. Lily McLeod in one. Ellie Simmons goes in two. Kirsten Pinson in three. The big two in the centre. Charlotte Henshaw and Liz Johnson side by side, as they often are in the major events. Sukman Tang in lane six. Jay McCabe in seven. Sarah Pashud in eight. And Beth Johnston in lane nine. Yeah, another multi-talented field here, Paul. And this is... Uh... This is what we love about these international events. Brings them from right around the world. And then you kind of think, well, we don't need to go all the way around the world. We've got our own Simmons, Henshaw, Johnson. They will battle it out here in heat number four of this one. And uh, at the touch, it's uh, Pinson, the SB9 swimmer, who uh, has the lead. Sukman Tang in six, turning in 46, nine, six. Third is then Henshaw. And as you said, what, she wouldn't be far behind. And... Uh, not far behind is Johnson indeed. 47.63. Henshaw just in front. 47.40. And then following that was Jay McCabe in the S8 category. Here they come into the final 15. Well, Charlotte Henshaw just edging Liz Johnson. This is a really good battle between these two in the centre lanes. They're looking for that qualification time for the European Championships. 141.91. For Henshaw and Johnston, they are side by side, the two in four and five here. Let's have a look at the clock. It's going to be close. Oh, 142.15 for Johnston and 142.74 for Henshaw. Johnston agonizingly just 0.2 of a second outside that qualification standard. And these two really went hard there. But those two points totals, Alan... 8.17 and 8.03 should be enough to qualify them for the final this evening. They'll have another go at that. So it's always tricky, Paul. You've got the uh, three sets of finals this evening. The, uh, the open final, the junior final and the B final. And it's, uh, it's key to keep enough in reserve for tonight, but use enough to make sure you get there. Uh, we do have a disqualification. Uh, heat three, event 103. Lane 9, start of stroke. That's heat 3, invent 103. Lane 9, disqualified, start of stroke. So, uh, very quick and high point scoring heat number 4. Let's find out what happens as we move on to heat number 5.
Heat number five sees Hasna Hakim in zero, Letitia Martinez in one, Janina Salzberg in two, Lisa Denbraba from the Netherlands in three, Yuan Jing Chao in four, Daniel Hartin in five, Lizette Bernisma in six, Hyun Young Wong in seven, Natalie Moon in eight, and the world record holder in the SB5 class, Kirsten Brun from Germany, goes in the outside lane in lane nine. Again, it was, uh, it was all about the British athletes and stars in heat four. Now we go back. We've got US, Germany, Netherlands, Hong Kong. Who, uh, again, just demonstrating the, uh, the pull that this event has. People coming from all around the world, world and Paralympic medalists and champions, world record holders all here gathered in Glasgow for this four-day British Paris Swimming International meet. And going very well here in four is Yunying Chao of Hong Kong. The 26-year-old S14 swimmer. Entry times 132.52. He's been pushed all the way here by uh, Daniel Harton. Harton of uh, Basildon is uh, just coming up on the shoulder as well here. It might be a close encounter at the end, but it goes to Yun Ying Chao, 139.9. 6.02 on the points, but well done. Letitia Martinez, 7.10 out there in lane number one. And then Kirsten Brune. That's what Kirsten Brune does well. And gets a good point score, 7.85. But Lisa Dembraba tops the pile, 839. Dembraba of the Netherlands, the 22-year-old S7 swimmer pool. Good points total for a morning swim. Well, she is a former European record holder. And that's just three-tenths of a second outside the European record mark now held by Kuznetsova of Russia. Medalist at London. And in Montreal, Lisa Denbraba, she'll be looking to try and get that European record back tonight. And Kirsten Brune, well, good swim from Kirsten Brune. Uh, a top points total, 785 points. That's some way outside of her own world record mark. But she has dominated this 100 breaststroke in the SB5 class over the last decade. That was heat number five. We can now move on to heat number six. So uh, Anita Osk Hasendotir goes in lane zero. Begona Carrero in one. Chloe Butt in two. Marlo van der Kulk goes in three. Magda Tuertas in four. Helena Kafal Kagzal, should I say, in five. Carla Casals in six. Regan Doig in seven. Me Ichinos in eight. Arisa Yarayova. Uh, here in four. The uh, swimmer from the Netherlands here is going to take this one. Betters on 26-4. 866 points being totted up there. 848. Uh, yeah. Krasal. 742 for Chloe Buck just in behind them. So the uh, results being shown on our scoreboard here in the venue. And you're seeing the race winner on the stream as they climb out. Here's the official results for you guys at home as well. That top point score, 866-848. Read out as many points as we can for those of you watching at home. For those of you in the venue, of course, you can use the scoreboard 
at the starting end here of Tollcross. Hopefully you're enjoying the morning's action live. Whether you're at home or in the venue, we'll move on to our next team. Heat number seven sees Gemma Bennett in zero, Eric Davis in one, Stephanie Slater in two, Colleen Young in three, Harriet Lee in four, Nicole Love in five, two British record holders next to each other in the centre lane, Ellen Keane in six, Farley Shabalina in seven, Katie Nesbitt in eight, and Lara Ferguson in the outside lane in lane nine. Lara Ferguson trying to achieve that Commonwealth Games qualification standard for Scotland. 127.15, so we'll keep an eye on Lara's progress. But the two British record holders in the centre, four and five. Nicole Loff looking very good here. British record, 120.03 for Nicole Loff. And this is an excellent swim here from Nicole Loff. Surely the British record's going to go here, and it does. 118.91, Nicole Loff. And that, subject to ratification, could be a new British record for Nicole Loff. What an excellent swim there. 924 points for Nicole Love. She will claim the British record ahead of Harriet Lee. And in third position, it looks like Colleen Young, the SB13 swimmer. Some people, Paul, tell me that they come just to hear you say subject to ratification. And it hasn't taken long. Day one, morning one, and here we are. What a swim. Ladies and gentlemen, as Paul says, uh, subject to, of course, ratification, Nicole Luff, British record time. So uh, 924 points. Make sure you give her a big round of applause. A very good morning swim for Nicole Luff. And we'll just wait for the official results to come up on our scoreboard. But, uh, yeah, it's not taking you long, Paul. Oh, it was good, wasn't it? Nicole, yeah. uh, Nicole Loff looked very, very good there from the outset there. And Harriet Lee, that's an excellent time that she's done there, 120.70. But she was in the wake of the SB14 swimmer, Nicole Loff. And looking at the two Scots there, trying to make their Commonwealth Games time, Erid Davis and Lara Ferguson, they are just outside those times. They may get another opportunity in the final. We'll have to wait and see if they make a qualification time for that final. Good swim also from Stephanie Slater. 126.50 for Stephanie Slater in lane two. So the official results now being displayed for that one. There you can see 118.91, 924 points. Nicole Laff, well done. We'll move on to our next heat. Final heat here then of the women's 100 metres breaststroke heat. Heat number eight. As they make their way down, Bethany Firth, 14 swimmer, representing City of Newcastle, Paralympic champion, of course, turns in front of Emily Telly. S12 swimmer in lane five, 38, three, five, third position. Shout out Zita Vell. Stephanie Firth, one way out in front here. As they come to the five meter marker, it will be Firth. 
who touches here in a time of 118 two five nine hundred and forty seven points for the benefit of those at home without the point system nine four seven eight twelve from claire cashmore she comes in in lane number six another 800 score coming in from uh, zidevelt and that is good enough to come third in that heat nine four seven bethany firth city of newcastle The uh, official result for that heat now being displayed. Heat number eight, of course. 947 for Thurth. Cashmore, 812. Zidavel, 800. That's the top three in that heat as you see the official results on the scoreboard and at home. Hopefully, you're enjoying the stream. Keep your tweets coming. Uh, Tom Hamer sent one swimming again this morning. BPSIM 14. He says, same heat as Sash Kindred, living the dream. Let's go and find the wonderful Kate Gray. Well, I've turned the tables on Kate Gray here because I'm going to be asking her the questions this time. Kate Gray, breaststroke finalist in Beijing Paralympics. And you enjoy the breaststroke event. How do you think that went? Some good swims there. I think I enjoy watching it rather than actually swimming it these days, especially when you see the swims that have just gone out. I mean, the SB6 category is always so competitive and seeing Charlotte and Liz battling it out so close to the qualification time as well. So we'll look forward to that final. And Ellie making a bit of an inroad there as well. She was very close at World Championships of doing a good swim. So it looks like she could be making some inroads. And then, of course, the, the likes of Claire Cashmore, Harriet Lee. Looks like they've just done the qualification time for Europeans, which means they hopefully, according to... to uh, 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 selection they will be on the team as well and it's great because I think they had a tough few weeks coming up with the Commonwealth trials they've both just missed out there so they're making up for it here for Europeans and someone that you swam against in the past Lara Ferguson you saw her going this morning she was one of the swimmers that you looked up to when you were coming through the ranks I couldn't believe it when I saw her when I was walking out to the um, to the poolside, I saw Lara and she was like, all right, Ginger. I was like, yeah, thank you very much for that, Lara. Um, yeah, great to see her back in the pool. She's going to be going for the Scottish time. I'm not sure, did she, did, did she do the time, Paul? You might be able to fill me in more. Oh, she didn't do the time, so hopefully she'll make the final this evening, so she'll have another go at it. We'll have to wait for confirmation of those finalists. And we were also beside you, the British record holder in the SB7 class. Emma's back with us again. You uh, see any talent coming through to challenge your record time, Emma? <laughs> um, all the girls swam really well in that race, but I do agree with Kate, it was much nicer to watch it from the side than swim it. Um, I always felt that the 100 breasts was the race that really hurt. Um, but no, there seems to be a lot of nice new talent coming through, so it looks strong for the future. And we've got some qualification times, and of course we saw Nicole Loft there do that British record time. I'm not sure what Bethany Firth went in that last uh, heat there, but great swim from Nicole, wasn't it? Oh, it was a fantastic swim. It was really, really exciting to watch. Um, that was a really, really great swim, and hopefully even faster in the final tonight. So, Kate, what are you looking forward to? Do you think the, uh, the men can follow what the, the women have just done there? I think a British record is going to be hard to follow, but um, looking at the breaststroke men, there's, there's a good few, good few to look out for. Um, but I think the women have really set the bar there. And when, when you look at sort of the, the British contingency from breaststroke, it seems to be our event what we are strongest at. And um, it was definitely always a tough one to qualify for. But Paul, you were never a breaststroker yourself? I did everything, Kate. I was an all-rounder. I did, I did some good swims in breaststroke, yeah. I was the uh, European champion at quite a late stage in my career. I only won one European gold, and I was kind of uh, past it, you might say, when I actually won that European gold. It was a bit of a surprise, but uh, I was an IM swimmer normally, but I, I did a little bit of breaststroke because of my IM, and it, uh, it ended up quite good. A bit like yourself, really. Yeah, well, I think the... Being a multi multi event makes it a little bit easier, but actually the, the multi classification racing here does seem to be fitting in quite well. The point system is making sense to us all, and it's great to see the, sort of the the 900 points. We're waiting to see that 1,000 point come out. That usually means when we're very close to world record times. But I think that the racing is definitely upping its game as the day goes on. And it's interesting because the the finals will be seeded on time, 
and Charlotte and Liz, who have gone together in the heats, they might be separated in the final. Do you think that might make a difference? It does make it tough for them because they'll be either end of the pool. One will be on the outside lane and one will be on the other outside lane. So they won't see each other in the race, but that will all be coming up. So we will see that happen in the final. But I think next up we have the men's 100 metres breaststroke. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes for the men's 100 metres breaststroke heats. This is heat number one. Away they go here in heat number one. Uh, Paul is on his way back to the commentary position. Um, uh, reliably in form. We've got uh, nine heats here of the 100 breaststroke. Just the two entrants in our first heat. Oliver Shergold representing Colchester going here in lane number three. And a very familiar name to everybody in the swimming scene, I'm sure. And... Uh, and well beyond that as well, representing South Tyne, Joseph Craig, who uh, has been having a pretty good couple of years, Paul, hasn't he? He has indeed, Paralympic champion in 400 freestyle and the London Paralympic Games. And doing the breaststroke, I don't think I've ever seen Joseph Craig do the breaststroke. Certainly not long course 100 breaststroke, but he's, he's given it a good try here in lane number five. Of course, the swimmers in the early heats have got no entry times so that's why we're seeing some of the top names appearing in these early heats which are normally reserved for the swimmers with the slowest entry times but joseph craig in the sb7 class he's coming through now into the final five meters of course the sb7 british record holder is sasha kindred and 136.45 for joseph craig 525 points for the swimmer from South Tyne. He told me that he had the, the Tyne Tunnel named after him for a day, Joseph Craig. That's one of my favourite stats. I love that. I gen genuinely love that. I once, had a, I once had a sandwich named after me in a local cafe, but that was because I ate too many of them. But uh, no, I love that. A tunnel named after you. Well, if you went through the Tyne Tunnel in a certain day in... September 2012, you will have gone through the Joseph Craig Tunnel. Superb. Results for heat one now being displayed. 525 points for Joseph Craig. We'll move on to heat two. So, uh, away we go in heat two. William Jones, Dimitri Saleh, Morgan Peters, Eldar Afendayev, Julius Yarandink, Anderson Jamba, Lewis Edwards, Oliver Hind, and Stephen Clegg. Away they go in heat number two, then. You were uh, just scouting through your piles of notes, and not that most of it isn't in your head, but you were just having a look at something else. What were you, you scurrying for there? Yeah, I think the uh, swimmer from Malaysia in the centre lane there, Julius Jaranding, is the Asian record holder in this one. 
121.83. So we'll keep an eye on him in the centre lanes. Look at this in the outside, though. In lane zero, is that? Yeah, William Jones. In lane one, actually, is Dimitri Salai. I should have guessed the SB13 swimmer. 31.31 at the turn. This is a fantastic swim here from Dimitri Salai. And he is going great guns this morning. I've already seen him have one very good swim this morning. He's done it again. 796 points for Dimitri Saleh. 108.89. And the uh, man from Azerbaijan has uh, certainly got the bit between his teeth this morning. He's gone for it. That's a couple of decent swims already. Uh, Afendayev in lane number three. is a compatriot from Azerbaijan, but an S12 swimmer. The 20-year-old has gone... In a time of 119.24, points there. And I think, Alan, that could be the swimmer from Malaysia, Julius Gerunding. That could well be a new Asian record for the Malaysian by two one hundredths of a second. Look at this. They're falling all over the place, these records. Unbelievable. Uh, Anderson Jamba, S4 swimmer in lane five. He's uh, just past the 25-metre marker. The uh, yellow cap of Jamba. We'll complete our lineup as he comes up to the 15 meter marker. So uh, you're, uh, I was just disappointed that you had to go to a bit of paper for that stat on the uh, on that record. I, you normally just remember them. Yeah, I'm not up on my Asian records, but it's uh, Julius Jaranding, the Malaysian swimmer. I'm sure he's got that one, two one hundredths of a second. Of course, the Malaysians may well be back here in the Commonwealth Games. They are Commonwealth nation. We've seen Malaysian. Disability swimmers previously compete in the games. Not sure if they're going to have a team this time, but they have got a big contingent here, and they will, I'm sure, be competing in the World Championships next year. As Jamba comes in, Anderson Jamba touches there. 244.26, 177 points. Well, uh, not only have we got countries from all over the world competing, uh, so far the live stream has been watched in Japan, the Netherlands, Germany, Sweden, Iceland, Spain, Estonia, the US, Ireland and Hungary. Uh, and then a little bit after that, Switzerland joined the party, so too did Azerbaijan. Uh, and somebody just texted me and said, I love the mix of Alan's Englishness and your Scottishness. Apparently it comes across very well. Oh, good. Who was that? My mum. Yes. Did you give him my number? No comment. Keep the tweets coming. Hashtag BPSIM14. Hashtag BPSIM14. Here is our next heat. Men's 100 breaststroke multi classification. Heat three. Wai Sung To in zero. Jonathan McGrath in one. Adam Scott in two. Peter Davis in three. Joshua Monaghan Coombs in four. Arthur Morley in five. Neil Schramm in six. Matthew Phillips in seven. Neil Howie in eight. And William Hardy in lane number nine. So again, a range of classifications. William Hardy. With the lowest classification in here in SB4, we have Peter Davis and Wai Song Tu, the SB7s. All the rest are SB8s, apart from Neil Schramm in lane 6, who is an SB9. And Well, Arthur Morley is the man ahead, 45.96, just half a second ahead of Peter Davis. With Joshua Monaghan Coombs in third position, the action all happening in the centre lanes there. So young William Hardy has just uh, made the turn. Uh, 104.40. Entry time 213.76 for the S4 swimmer uh, from City of Newcastle. So uh, he will be last to finish. But again, the multi-classification events meaning 
uh, times aren't necessarily what we're looking for. And coming here through in five in the black cap, Arthur Morley, 305 points after that 139.57. Uh, just in behind, 143.80, Adam Scott. That's 269 on the points total. 372 for Peter Davis. Goes to the top. 148.21 that time for the S7 swimmer. Uh, and out there in lane zero, Lee Sung To, S7 swimmer from Singapore. We'll take a touch in 209.52. Uh, here in nine comes William Hardy. Remember that entry time, 213.76. He's got the 217.21, which gives him 300. Uh, and four points, so uh, a few in the 300 zone there. Just wait for the official results here in the venue. Yeah, of course that was, well, it is the third heat, but it was the First heat that we've seen seeded on times so as swimmers in the earlier events there didn't have entry time, so we had a kind of mix of uh, standards going through those heats one and two. Didn't seem to matter to Dimitri Sale, he not having an entry time, he went off like a, a rocket and uh, he was uh, one of the quickest and highest point scorers so far. And we uh, have the official result of heat number three being displayed here. On the scoreboard at Toll Cross, 305 for Morley, 304 for Hardy, 285 for Monaghan Coombs. See them at home as well as we move on now to heat number four. Sam Bradley in zero. Neil Skronenberg in lane one. Daniel Bennett in two. Oliver Carter in three. Mash Matthew Rishworth in four. Joab Balinski in five. Ryan Nichols in six. Ricardo ten in seven. Jack Sheffield in eight. And Michael Jones in lane number nine. Well, a couple of top international swimmers here. Ricardo ten, the European record holder from Spain. He goes in lane seven, and Niels Gronenberg from Germany goes in lane one. Well, we'll see what these two big names can do. Ricardo Ten's European record was set in Beijing, the Beijing Paralympic Games, 136.61 for Ricardo Ten. And he's been around for a number of years, the great Spaniard. It's a breaststroke medalist at the Atlanta, Sydney, Beijing, and London Paralympic Games. So... Very experienced campaigner, the Spaniard. He goes in lane number seven. Being headed at the moment by swimmer out there in lane number two, Daniel Bennett, going well, the SB8 swimmer. And also going well in lane number six is Ryan Nichols. We've seen him in the pool already this morning. So it's those two that are going to lead them in, Daniel Bennett. And Ryan Nichols, they two finished first, 128.04 and 130.74. In uh, lane eight is uh, Jack Sheffield. We saw a, a tweet for him a little bit earlier on in our uh, BP SIM 14 timeline. So uh, he's competing here in lane eight. Uh, gets a time of 147.31. Uh, some good 700 scores in this one, though, Paul. 760 for Niels Grunenberg, but uh, not good enough. To beat Ricardo Ten's seven six six. Yep, European record holder Ricardo Ten in the SB four class. He will be the top point scorer, seven hundred and sixty six points. Niels Grunenberg, the great German medalist at the World and Paralympic Games, in second position. No surprise that these two are top so far. Seven hundred and sixty point range for the two swimmers from Spain and Germany.
resisted all top 10 jokes at that point. 766 in a time of 148.5. Grunenberg 760. Not far behind on points. Quite finishing faster on time. The results being displayed on the scoreboard for heat number four. I suppose we better move on to heat five then. Heat five sees Joshua Hodson in zero, Matthew Gibson in one, Lewis White in lane two, Craig McLean in three, Torben Schmidtke in four, Fraser Kane goes in lane five, Jackson Simmons in seven, Hiroyuki Komo in lane eight, Joseph Siege in lane number nine. He's going to be first to the wall in this one, very tight between the top two. Torben Schmidtke gets there, 39.30. And Fraser Kane, Scottish record holder, in second position at the moment. And it's a good battle between these two. And in third position, it was outside lane. Joseph Siege going well in lane number nine. Lewis White also going well in lane number two. But just with the edge, Torben Schmidtke looks like he is stretching away now from Fraser Kane in lane five. There it is, Torben Schmidtke. Yes, B6 swimmer, 39.30. Fraser Kane, 39.75. Uh, good swim here from uh, Joseph C. The S14 swimmer closest to us in our commentary position. He's going to come in at a 4.56 point wise, but uh, Schmidtke's 822 as he takes that touching 125.58. And uh, he's uh, in a different class there. Paul, 822. Closest challenger, eight, five, uh, four, five, six. So uh, good swim from Torben Schmidtke here in eight, five. Absolutely, yeah. Paralympic silver medalist from London, showing his class there, and he's into the 800-point territory, 822 points. That is a good target for the swimmers to follow. Torben Schmidtke of Germany, the SB6 swimmer. As you can see there from the scoreboard, by far the lowest classification and he is closest to the world record for his classification eight to two points in event 104 heat number three there was a disqualification in lane three during the swim in event 104 heat three lane three during swim disqualification we move on to our next heat Where we go in six, Hatcher Kindred in lane zero, Mantung Chan, Simon Boer, Thomas Hamer, Jose Cantero, Rivera, Andre Lemon, Ryan Crouch, Wite, Adam Melville, and Ching Chan is the lineup. Interesting one, this one, Sasha Kindred. Mentioned him before, Simon Boer. Next to him, well, two lanes across from him. They're both the SB7 class. Both great rivals here. Simon Boer, new European record holder. Sasha Kindred, now the British record holder. He's held that British record for a number of years. I said before, you might have missed it, but his wife didn't. 1994 was Sasha Kindred's international debut. Can't have it. He's still a spring chicken. Yeah, he still looks it, and he's still on good form. Can Doesn't... he get in ahead of the European record holder, Simon Boer? He would love to do that, lane zero and lane two. 
is uh, six S14 swimmers. But the one thing about Sasha Kinja is he doesn't care about anybody else. He swims his own race with his own tactics and his own speed. And he's, uh, he's achieved quite a lot for doing that. So he won't care about all these racing ahead in this multi-class field. He'll swim his own race. He'll do it very well, as always. Uh, coming in here, 9.25 on the points tally for Simon Boer. Uh, that's 119.89, Paul. Well, that 925 point under the 120 mark, that is a sensational swim, and it could be a new European record for Simon Boer, subject to ratification, of course. But what a swim there for Simon Boer from the Netherlands. So let's have a round of applause, even if you're at home, let's have a round of applause to Simon Boer. A wonderful swim, 925 points that time, as Paul says, subject to ratification. It's a new record, so uh, 119.89. You weren't expecting that one, Paul? What's not? Yeah, his European record was 121.26, and he has knocked almost a second and a half off that. That is fantastic swimming from the Netherlands swimmer. Simon Boer from the Netherlands, and that is edging ever closer to the world record held by Blake Cochran from Australia. Two subject to ratifications in one morning. Great, I love it. I love not it. A, yeah. Not as many as you said during the uh, Paralympics, I'm sure. <laughs> no. There were hundreds. Yeah, it was a great quality there. You see the top two swimmers in terms of points were the two SB7 swimmers ahead of all the SB14s. Sasha Kindred, 130.86. Not on his best form today, but was he hanging something back for tonight? Maybe. 6.29 points for Sasha. We move on to our next heat. Craig Harris in zero, the first of oh, six, seven, seven SB14 swimmers in this one. We have Craig Harris, Wylock Tang in one, Joseph Schenk in two, Jack Thomas in three, Scott Quinn, the British record holder, in four, next to the former British record holder, Dan Pepper, in five. Oscar Livesey is an SB9 in lane six, Connor Morrison, another SB14 in seven, Julian Exlibin in lane eight, and Tim Van Duren in lane number nine. Scott Quinn, can he challenge his record time? His British record stands at a very impressive 108.81 set in the World Championships at Montreal last year. He's got to achieve a standard time of 109.50 for the European Championship team. And the Warrender swimmer is looking good in lane number five. Comes in here. It's going to be Quinn at the touch. Here in four, 110, two, four, 856 points for Scott Quinn. Uh, in front of Dan Pepper, 112, five, four, 777 points there. Uh, and keeping all the sixes going is uh, Jack Thomas. So uh, three sixes for him, 116.35 the time. Uh, some very good points totals there in heat number seven of this 100 meter breaststroke. Good swim, Paul. Scott Quinn, 11024. He was good. I think he'll be a bit disappointed with that one, though. His record at 108.81, and the qualification standard he was looking for was 109.50. So a little bit of work to do tonight, but I'm sure he will make the final comfortably with that one, and he can challenge that 109.50 qualification standard. That is the task for Scott Quinn tonight, and it is the task for a number of these GB swimmers as they go into the qualification rounds for the European Championship. The official result for heat number seven now being displayed on the scoreboard, 856 for Scott Quinn. We move on to heat number eight.
Satoru Misiaka in one, Kaichi Kimura in two, Vaikit Choi in three, Artem Pavlenko in four, Aaron Moores in five, and GB medalist from the Paralympic Games, Masami Oda in six, Kahuro Harazawa, great new talent in lane seven, Haran Drake in eight, and Takuka Tazawa in lane nine. Well, Kahuro Harazawa, can he make those qualification standards? 110.44 is the A standard, and 111.13 is the B standard. Let's have a look. Aaron Moore's going well in lane number five. He is headed by Pavlenko, the Russian, in lane number four. Pavlenko, I think, is going to get this one, and a very good time, 109.51 for Pavlenko. Aaron Moore's in second place, 111.62. He's followed by Wakit Choi and Kaichi Kimura. Harazawa, 117.22 on this occasion for Kahuru Harazawa, the SB9 swimmer. A good race at the front of the field, though. Pavlenko, 109.51. And he was ahead of his SB14 competitor, Aaron Moores. So a good race between the two SB14 swimmers at the front of the field now. Good swim from our uh, S11 swimmer there, Keiichi Kimura, 9.07 in, uh, in terms of points. So, uh, just behind that, 883 from Artem Pavlenko. Six S14 swimmers involved in that heat. Are the points totals confirmed on the scoreboard? It is Kimura. He's the world champion in the SB11 class. And he takes the highest points total, 907, ahead of Pavlenko and Moores. 883, Pavlenko 807 for Moors. We move on to our final heat of this event, heat number nine. So uh, here we are, Paul, final heat of this men's 100 breaststroke. Plenty more action to come, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around. We've got the uh, women's and the men's 50 breaststroke events to come in a few minutes as well. Day one of the British Para Swimming International Meet 2014. And uh, Paul has managed to say subject to ratification a couple of times, which is always good. And it means we're in for some really good swims in the evening sessions as well. Remember... Open finals, junior finals, and B finals as well. So plenty more swimming to come. You get a lot of value for your money in the evenings, Paul, if you're turning up. A yeah, number of finals there. And these swimmers are trying to get places in those finals. And the man at the front there, Mark Avers, a European record holder. Could be on for another subject to ratification here, Alan. It's going to be very tight. European record stands at 106.90. And Mark Avers coming in now, and oh, 108.69, a little bit slower than I thought he might have been there. Followed on by Jack Bridge, a man who you know well, Alan, 112.81 for Jack. And in third position, looks like Sung Lee in lane number six, just ahead of Hirota in lane number two. Well, uh, Mark Avers, 915, got a, a silver medal from this event at last year's champs. He uh, did a time of 109.39 to pick that up, so he's uh, already in uh, 
superior form to that. And uh, Israel Oliver, 117.62, gave him 737 points. Sang Lee, 729. Hirota, 714. And you got, uh, you mentioned Jack Bridge. Happy? Not happy? Yeah, he's fairly happy. There you go. Give me a little bit of a nod. So, uh, 680 for Jack. And uh, Amerik Parmentier, 668. There was a tweet for him a little bit earlier on as well. That came from Ellen Volkert. So, uh, lots of tweets coming in from lots of nationalities, from lots of places. Keep yours coming in, especially if you're in the venue. Send us a selfie. We want the pictures as well. Hashtag BPSIM14. In event 104, heat number seven, lane three, a disqualification at the turn. So that's event 104, heat seven, lane number three, disqualification at the turn. So keep those tweets coming. Hashtag BPSIM14. Loads of support coming in from all around. And uh, as we mentioned, we're being watched from all sorts of venues. Oh, Mark Avers there, winning that final heat, 108.69, 915 points. He was the man to beat at the Montreal World Championships last year. He looks like he's going to be the man to beat tonight. Excellent performance by the Netherlands swimmer. If you're on our big screen, give us a wave. That's yes, you on our big screen. There we are. Look at that. There we go. That's it. You tell him, wave, she said. Oi, wave. He's, he's waving. How is he wearing a gilet? He's hot out there. There we are. More uh, people happy with the... That's it. Give us a wave. There we are. Hopefully you're all enjoying yourself here at Toll Cross at home. Hopefully the action is keeping you very much entertained. Don't forget, keep those tweets are coming. And for information about anything swimming related, then British Swimming is your source. Follow the Twitter. Chris is beavering away. His fingers of like lightning this morning. And uh, you can get all the tweets on Twitter through British Swimming and on the website. There's a giant Welsh flag in the venue. They're pretty happy. Let's start back with the swimming. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes for the women's 50-metre breaststroke heats. So, uh, in lane five, Danielle Bailey. We've no lane four here in this singular heat of the 50 breaststroke. I was, uh, I was testing Paul this morning over breakfast about the longest standing record on the IPC list and uh, true to form, he plucked it from nowhere. And what did you say? What did you say the answer was, Paul? The uh, longest standing IPC record on the uh, internet? Oh, I think it's John Morgan. Very great blind swimmer, totally blind swimmer, one with no vision at all. Back in 1986 World Championships, I think you said. I remember it well, the 1986 World Championships, sadly. If you can, get, if you can give me the time, I'll make you a drink. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll work on that. So, uh, Paul Noble, if you want to know something about disability swimming, Noble yeah. is your man. Be a new thing, couldn't it? Yeah. Ask tweet, Paul. Tweet in the question. <laughs> uh, Scottish Swimming have sent us a tweet of their selfie. Thank you very much for joining in. Uh, Scottish Swimming support for uh, P. Wilson, 1977, and Scottish Swimmers at the BPSIM 14. Good tan from Glasgow Sun. And uh, here at the finish, 135.18. For Danielle Bailey, uh, gives her a 185 in terms of points. Coming through the 15 metres to go marker is Pinju Yip, the uh, Singapore swimmer 
and uh, S3 world record, if I'm not mistaken, still stands from 1996. So there are some lengthiest records knocking around. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Naiko no Kajiwa. Yeah, great. Uh, Maggie McElhinney is a European record holder, local to this part of the world here in the west of Scotland. And she was a, a big competitor in this 50 metres breaststroke event from the 90s through to the early 2000s. Maggie, the Paralympic champion in 50 breaststroke. And you yip is... Uh... Edging closer to her entry time, which was at 2.39.50. She's going to miss out on that uh, as she comes in here. But it will be a time of 2.43.93. 36 points. So a round of applause for the two ladies taking part in that 50-metre breaststroke heat. It's quite interesting this year, Alan, because there's a new event being added to the, the championship programme for the, the World Championships and the Paralympic Games. It's the 4x50 medley relay, mixed male and female. So someone like Daniel Bailey, for example, in the lower classes, it's a lower class event. It's a 20 point relay, which means the classification of all the swimmers, all the four swimmers added up has to be 20 points or less. So someone like Daniel Bailey may well feature in a, a GB team in the future. It's a new event. It's to uh, encourage the relay swims for the, the lower number of numerical classifications. And uh, yeah, it could be an opportunity for some of them. Someone like Daniel Bailey, someone like Lyndon Longhorn. Could well be. It's be an interesting event to watch. We now move on to our next event in the program. This is the men's 50 meters breaststroke heats. Heat one of one. Well, talking of Lyndon Longhorn, he's in this one, heat one. One and only heat of the men's 50 breaststroke. Quinton Harris in two, Miguel Luque in three. World record holder in the SB3 class, Takayuki Suzuki in four. Michael Schoenmacher, Paralympic champion in five. Lyndon Longhorn goes in six, the British record holder. And Curtis Lovejoy goes in lane number seven, the world record holder in the SB1 class. And uh, an age just 57. Youngster, Curtis Lovejoy. You missed that off the list uh, with his attributes. Curtis Lovejoy representing the United States, as Paul saying. World record holder. That was, uh, he liked swimming in Great Britain. That was set in Manchester in 2009. Uh, coming in here, 917 points for Takayuki Suzuki, uh, the SB3 swimmer. Clocking 917 points. 901 for Miguel Luque uh, alongside him. And on the other side, Michael Schoenmacher. 810 in a time of 52.01, but good swim from Takayuki Suzuki. Uh, Quinton Harris finishing in 117.45, and uh, Lovejoy, a world record holder, 129.94 that time. So uh, he's outside of that, his entry time, 138.00. He's the 100 meter world record holder as well in that category. And Lovejoy comes in to the final five metres here, Paul. Well, what's Lovejoy going to do? I remember that being on a banner at one of the major meets before. What is he going to do? Curtis Lovejoy, 153.53. Not world record breaking form today for the experienced American. He's a man that uh, competed against Jim Anderson many times in the past. And I think if Jim's watching this, he'll be... Interested to see how Curtis is uh, getting on his old pal from the USA. But the top three swimmers there, Takayuki Suzuki, Miguel Luque, and Michelle, uh, Michael Schoenmacher, well, they are the top three SB swimmers in the world, you would say, arguably. Any of the major championships that anyone's been to over the last seven, eight years, it is those three that have been at the top of the tree. Suzuki, Paralympic champion from 
Beijing, the world record holder, he's on top at the moment, but his great rivals, Luke and Schoenmacher, right alongside him, should be a very good final this evening. It's three tenths of a second in that one, Paul. That makes for a very interesting final indeed. Suzuki, Luke, uh, and then Schoenmacher. Uh, that's the lineup that awaits us. Uh, yeah, athletes climbing out of the pool. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the venue here, and if uh, at home you feel like doing it as well, let's have a round of applause for all of the athletes that have taken part here this morning on day one of the British Para Swimming International Meet. Thank you to all of the volunteers, the event staff, and of course our officials as well. So let's have a round of applause for all of those. Paula. A couple of subject to ratification records for you this morning. Uh, very quickly sum up what we've seen. Oh, we've seen some good performances, some very good performances. Uh, Nicole Luff was very impressive. I watched her in the breaststroke. She's progressed through the ranks very well. Simone Boer, the, the uh, Netherlands swimmer, that was a sensational swim there. European record, absolutely fantastic. Uh, some of the swimmers, I think, uh, have to make a little bit of improvements for tonight. We've seen a few qualification standards achieved for the GB team for the European Championships. We'll hopefully see more in the final session this evening. Certainly will. 5 p.m. our session starts. So get yourself booked into the venue or on the live stream just before that. Uh, from myself and Paul Noble in the same venue, have a very good afternoon. Officials, you may leave the poolside.